Hey Dale. Hi. Today I thought we'd go in a completely different direction and um, have a tarot reading. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't tarot a bunch of mumbo jumbo? You pick a card. I honestly don't know how this works. I pick a, I shuffle a deck. I, I pick a card. I don't know. That tells my future or something. I'm not. I don't know. I don't believe in magic. I was calling them tarot cards until I was swiftly uh, slammed headfirst into the concrete and said, "Fucking tarot, you stupid cunt!" And then I immediately redacted. All I want to say is, who the f who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? They're fucking cards. <laughs> He said tarot cards. Shut the fuck up. Who gives a fuck? There is there's so many other things that you could complain about and you complain. Sorry, I'm just I'm tired, okay? Sorry, baby. I'm just it was just that I'm tired, okay? I love you. Mwah. LT's world famous universal six card spread. Six cards from the major arcana. I don't who's who's that? I don't know who that is. Should I know? It can also be used to answer specific questions. Has been consulted over 150 million times since Lotus Tarot was launched in 2002. Jesus Christ. The card's positions represent how you feel about yourself now. What you most want at this moment? I would like to stop. The outcome according to your current situation or the question you ask. Don't be fooled by the brevity and simplicity of the responses or by the fact it is a major arcana only reading. Again. No clue. This reading has stood the test of time and has proven itself again and again to millions of users. Now I'm just going to take a quick moment to say I think that these cards are going to be just like astrology and shit in general where it's so vague that it can just account to anything. Yes, I'm skeptical. Yes, I think it's a bunch of bullshit, but hey, prove me wrong, Major Arcana. I don't know if this reading is for like the next week, the next month, just today. Um, I got no clue. Oh, also, I may or may not try and do a pay per minute tarot reading um, online, just because I think that'd be fun for me, for me mainly, uh, and just see. You know, they say no nonsense, but I'm going to bring the nonsense. I'm going to see if they're really all about that. But we'll we'll just stick to the to the cards we choose for now. This one say, oh I got it. Oh, so I choose five cards. So basically, how my life is going to go is based on luck. That's awesome. That's exactly what I want. Get my reading. Okay, this is awesome. How I feel about myself. Card one, strength. You feel that despite the challenges you have faced within the past, present, or future, you will find the strength and courage to succeed. Doesn't every? Wow, that's so me. Whether you are recovering from ill health, a broken marriage or relationship or challenges at work, you'll find the willpower to come out on top. My health is pretty good. I'm not married or in a relationship. Work is the least challenging thing I could do. The only challenge at work is uh, my will to carry on. If you're looking to give up any bad habits such as smoking or drinking, for example, <laughs> fucking narc. Right, what's card two? What do you most want right now? A hanged, the hanged man, okay, that's, yeah, what I want right now is a man who's been hung. That's my biggest want currently. I hope every, all my friends are watching, because for my birthday and or Christmas, uh, I would like a hung man. That's, <laughs> it's not, that's, I mean like, by the neck, not, at his pet. Okay. The card suggests that what you most want at this time is to have it all. Why should you have to give something up or someone up? Perhaps you feel a victim. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a real victim. That's me. I have a victim complex. And that events are not going as planned. Trust that this is a passage from one phase of your life to another. Okay. If you are not sure what or who you need to give up, trust the things you'll will resolve themselves over time and whatever the outcome is, will ultimately be to your benefit. I love it where it's like, uh, whatever the outcome is will ultimately be to your benefit. What happens if I fall down a well and die? Is that to my benefit? Like, what are we getting at here? What's going on? What, what happens if um, 
a meteor strikes my house and kills my whole family. Is that to my benefit? Like, what are we, what are we talking here? Card three, your fears. The hermit. <laughs> you're worried about being on your own. You're afraid of loneliness. <laughs> no. This card's so... This card's so stupid. <laughs> and you simply don't know what to do. Take the time to relax and eventually you'll have the answers. Oh my god, another one. <laughs> hey, take the time to just let it happen. And you'll have the answers. All these cards can be summarised in the saying, Hey, well it'll be, it'll be. Hey, it'll work out in the end. The Hermit signals a warning not to make hasty decisions. Just like every other card. The, the card says, don't make any decisions for yourself. Just let it happen. Don't try and change your, the outcome of anything. Because that is pointless, according to these cards. Don't do it. Stop. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get out of the chair right now and go and seize the day. Fucking stop. Sit back. Relax. Okay? Don't do anything hasty. Don't... Do, you know what? Don't do anything at all. Just let life wash over you and just... Just let it happen. Just do nothing. This is an exciting time with lots of potential for fun and wonderful experiences. Your confidence should be high. It always is. I'm a confident guy. What can I say? It's a great time for new possibilities. If you are considering leaving your job, home or relationship, at some point you will. <laughs> if you are considering these things, you'll do it eventually. Don't even worry about it. Like, it'll happen. You know, at some point you will leave. You will eventually leave this world. You will eventually die. An unexpected desire will be fulfilled. Even before you express it. Here we go, we got card five. Card five, ladies and gentlemen. Put your bets on. Will it mean nothing? Probably. Are you suffering in silence in an unhappy relationship or feeling very lonely? Do you have the courage to make the decision you really know you should make? You have a great sense of duty, but are you happy? A difficult decision has to be made. Have courage and you will achieve emotional happiness. What decision? It's basically, are you feeling unhappy? Have the courage to change that. You've changed my life. Tarot card. All right, let's get to the sixth and last one. This will be, I'm sure this one will be a doozy. Justice will be done. Decisions will go in your favour, particularly regarding partnerships or legal matters. Am I about to be sued? And now is the time for some good luck and reward for your good deeds in the past. Psst, yeah, about fucking time. Yeah, this card's right. Where is my reward? My reward for being a good guy, a pretty swell guy, a nice guy, pretty lovely guy, pretty well-revered guy, pretty loved guy. Pretty cool guy. All in all, tarot cards are real. And I believe everything that has been said, no matter how vague, I do want to go a bit deeper in the next few weeks and get a live tarot reading by a tar tar tarotist. A tarotist? Um, I want to get a tarotist um, to read my fortune or whatever the fuck this is. And, you know, I, I think... Getting a tarotist to read my cards will really give me a better understanding of where my life is heading. Whether it's going downhill, or it's kind of plateaued and about to go downhill, or whether I'm near the bottom already. So, you know, love and respect to all the tarotists everywhere. Comment which card you feel most best represents you. Love you, bye.